Good morning. I'm taking you back again to Florida and our weekend uh, last weekend. One of the things that was unexpected that we really enjoyed was when we got there, we read that there was a county park uh, just about 10 minutes from where we were that boasted some of the prettiest sunsets on the whole Gulf of Mexico. Now, I'm betting most parks on the Gulf of Mexico boast that, but, but still, we decided to go check it out, and they were right. Uh, we went one night, and it was just beautiful, and you're seeing that now. Uh, uh, that sunset that evening. We noticed there were some people kayaking and watching the sunset, and Sarah and I decided that that would be a pretty cool thing to try. And so a couple of nights later at sunset, we went out and there was a boat ramp there and we put our kayaks in. However, it turned out to be more of an adventure than we planned. And although you can't really tell it from this footage here, uh, the water was super, super choppy and uh, it was a, the wind was up. And we went out for a little bit. We were about an hour before the sunset, and it was so hard just to keep oriented, the, keep the kayak oriented in the right direction, all that kind of stuff, that we went and beached the kayaks uh, for a little while and then paddled back out right before sunset. Uh, but by that time, the sun had gone down between a bank of clouds, and we really missed uh, the prettiest uh, pictures, maybe, that we might have been able to have. But we really had an adventure, and Sarah and I laughed and laughed and laughed at the water coming over the kayaks, and we teased each other about getting blown out to sea and, and all that kind of thing, and, and it, it turned out to be kind of a neat experience. Both of the nights we were out there, though, I was thinking about the 113th Psalm, uh, the third verse, that says, From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And I've used that on prayer cards in the past, cards that I have had to send to people to let them know the church is praying for them. And I found pretty pictures of sunsets and used that verse. But I haven't really studied the 113th Psalm until now. And I looked over it and read over it. And I'd like to share the whole uh, Psalm with you now. So the 113th Psalm says, Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time on and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. And the first part of the psalm is really, uh, particularly the part about the sun, is natural. We expect every day the sun to rise and the sun to set. And when they are beautiful sunrises or beautiful sunsets, we are naturally led to simply praise the Lord. And there's all kinds of things that happen during the course of a day uh, that can cause us to praise the Lord. Beautiful but expected things, seeing a flower or talking with a friend or eating something that is just particularly tasty. All of those are expected and uh, we can praise the Lord. But then the psalm throws a little bit of a curve at us and it says that the needy are lifted up and they are brought out of their ash heap, off of the ashes, and they are instead seated with princes. And then it says that wonderful verse uh, about the woman. He gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. And these are unexpected things. People who are poor and needy do not expect to be just lifted up and sat with princes and get a, a, a wonderful meal. They might have uh, settled even for much, much less. But this is a promise of a complete reversal. And a woman who has been barren for years and years and years and has given up all hope of having children suddenly finds that she is pregnant and she is in a joyous home uh, full of children. Now, God doesn't answer all of our prayers uh, the way that we wish. And yet, sometimes God does surprise us tremendously. In reading about this psalm, I read the story of a woman who had gone to a number of doctors, fertility specialists, and all kinds of things. And she and her husband just could not get pregnant. It did not seem to be something that was going to happen for her. And she had basically given up. But some women at her church said, we would like to pray for you. We'd like to lay our hands on you and pray for you. And although the woman really had almost no confidence in that prayer, she went through the service. She let them lay hands on her and pray for her. And just a very few short weeks later, she discovered that she was pregnant. Now, that doesn't work for everyone we know, and yet how excited she must have been. And surely she was, like the woman in the psalm, making uh, a joyous home 
full of children. And most of us can tell of a time when God answered a prayer for us in a way that we didn't expect. Uh, it may have been what we were asking for wasn't something we really, really needed. And now we know we're glad God didn't answer that prayer. It may be that we asked for something and God gave us something else. Or it may even be that after a period of time, God gave us the very desire of our hearts. I think we kind of may discover that uh, like the Rolling Stones did, we can't always get what we want, but we'll find sometimes that we get what we need. And that is the promise that God gives for us. And for that reason, because God so often surprises us, certainly with our needs and then so often with our wants. And I suspect when God is giving us something great and we notice it and we recognize it's coming from God, it gives God so much pleasure, just how much we enjoy when we offer uh, something to somebody as a surprise, some gift as a surprise, and we see their face just light up and it brings us so much pleasure as well. Sarah and I didn't get the peaceful, beautiful sunset uh, that we wanted, but instead we got a bit of an adventure. And my guess is that we will remember that adventure and we will laugh about that kayak uh, uh, ride that we took, kayak trip that we took on the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and remember it for much, much longer than if it had just been that nice, peaceful sunset like it had been uh, just the, the, a couple of nights before. And it's just like God to do that for us. And so let me ask you this day to open your eyes to see the ways that you can praise God. Praise God for things like sunrises and sunsets that we expect. And also praise God for what little unexpected gifts that God has in store for you this day. And we can do that, of course, because God is with us. Amen.